Hey guys, this is Steve. We're here to do a plug-in review, the first plug-in review of many to come. And we're going to start with Volco Audio's Q American Series emulation plugins. They're pretty much a series of plugins that emulate the API 550 A and B and the API 560. In this video, what we're going to do is go over basic operation of the plugin. We're going to touch base on key features that make me believe this plugin is better than the competitors on the market. And we're also going to do some audio samples, not only in the Volco Audio, but in three other major competitors from the market as well. One of the things I want to touch base on when it comes to this plugin is honestly the user interface. The user interface is very basic. It's appealing to the eye. It's not hard to work. There pretty much is no learning curve. One of the key features I like about the user interface is the input and output at the top. It has a view meter for input and output. The only competitor on the market that has that same view meter is the Waves API. And personally, the Waves API is not one of my favorite plugins that emulates the API 550. It's just my personal preference. So with that being said, I do want to give you some background about the plugin as well. It is a linear emulation. The only time that they captured saturation or any harmonics actually occurred in the proportional Q on this emulation plugin, which is kind of interesting, especially because since they didn't directly emulate any harmonics to do with the actual API 550, it has a really good color in comparison to some of the other plugins that we're going to go over today. So I just want to give you that piece of information. Now, key features wise, I love the CPU usage on this plugin. If you look over to the right in my performance monitor, I'm sure you could see that there's next to nothing. There's no audio running through it right now, but it's next to nothing. I have the metric halo channel strip on my vocal right now, utilizing the gate. And as you can see, it's actually less than the metric halo strip. And again, you'll be able to see when I run audio through it as well. But I, I do think that the CPU usage is actually comparable to slate digital, which is pretty impressive. So let's run some audio through this. Let me bump some parameters up so you can kind of get a feel of how it sounds. And then once we do that, we'll dive into the other competitors and see how it sounds versus them. By the way, we're going to be doing this with acoustic guitar that was recorded with an overhead. Okay, so right away, when you start to play with the increase on dB on any band on this EQ, to me, what I automatically notice is it puts a nice color to the source and it also maintains clarity, which is huge to me. So the clarity is outstanding and the color that this thing adds, I, I, honestly, I, I think is just amazing. Um, so I just wanted to point that out. Now, let's pull up another competitor which is the sli-fi axis now the sli-fi axis is indeed an api 550 emulation it has been modified a little bit to gregory scott's liking it is a little darker than your regular api 550 so keep that in mind there's some neat features about this plugin it's the only one out of the competitors that you can actually switch between a and b just with a button just a turn to the knob which i think is awesome the other thing about this plugin is it has a saturation knob which is extremely useful very nice color later on in the video i show a little bit of drive so you can see what it can physically do so let's run some audio through this i do have one band that i'm going to leave deactivated and that's this band right here and that's because this has four bands instead of three bands and every other competitor that we're going to compare it against only has three so i, I do want to leave one band out so let's run some audio through it
Okay, so instantly you should be able to hear the darkness on the color compared to the vocal audio. I'm now going to play them side by side just in case it's a little difficult for you to hear it compared to the raw file. I would like to let you hear it with another color that's not as dark. So give me one second. So as you can see, it, it just there's something about the mixture of the color and the clarity on the vocal audio. It just it sounds great. All right, so now let's dig into the UAD API 550. I'm a UAD fanatic, FYI. UAD, I demoed this one because I currently own the API Vision Strip, which also has a 550 EQ. I didn't believe that that was appropriate for this video review and comparison because there's a lot of other parameters involved with the vision strip, you know, filters, preamps, stuff like that, that I, I didn't want to capture any of that harmonics going against the actual Volco audio. So that's why I chose this one. So let's run some audio through this. So the API is relatively nice from UAD. I don't mind it at all. Um, one of the biggest problems that I have with the API is it just doesn't have the color, in my personal opinion, that the vocal audio does. So let's move on to the waves. Since we're here. And again, as I said before, waves is the only one that has the view meter like the vocal audio, which I do enjoy. Here we go. Okay, so as you see, the waves, as I already stated, is not one of my favorite ones. I, I feel like the harmonics in the waves just do not break up nicely when you drive it. So I would like to eliminate the waves and I would like to eliminate the UAD just for the purposes of displaying the saturation on this. Because one of my personal favorite things to do now that I have both of these EQs is I actually use the axis for the saturation knob and I use the vocal audio for the EQ, which works out relatively nicely. So first I'll, I'll run the audio through it with the saturation on the axis and the EQ still enabled because I, I want you to see how far we have to drive the saturation to come close to the color of the vocal audio. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so as you can see, you definitely need to drive some saturation in order to replicate that color on the Volco audio. Now, let's disengage all the gain on the EQ parameters and let's utilize both of them in series with the saturation from the SliFi 
axis and the EQ from the vocal audio. Okay, so all the audio tests are pretty much complete. I just wanted to give you guys a breakdown, an understanding, and something to compare it to. Right now, the vocal audio plugins are on sale for $139 for all three. Um, they're originally $200, which is a pretty good deal. So when you're ready to make that purchase, please visit vocalaudio.com.